Okay guys, as you can see, I already have my eyebrows done and we're going to go ahead and get started with this first impression and I promise my hair is not that yellow and real person. Um, I still have one more appointment to get to like the blonde that I actually want. Um, but yeah, it's not that blonde. <laughs> It's not that yellow in person. It's not that yellow. Um, it has a very like ashy undertone um, But in camera obviously because of the lighting and everything it looks very yellow, but it's not I promise okay. So I already primed my face and I used my favorite drugstore primer. This is the Maybelline New York Pri uh, Master Prime the this is the green one. This is the blur redness control um, And this is what I use like every single day um, like I said, this is a first impression, so it's basically whether, um, you know, like I like the foundation. I don't tend to, like, venture out and, like, try new foundations very often, but it's something that I want to really bring to my channel because I know that it's, it helps a lot when you're trying to, like, look for a review for a foundation and, you know, like, you want to know if it's a good foundation or not because I've bought foundations without even watching YouTube videos or, like, like looking up reviews for it and then I end up, like, hating it because of my skin type or anything. So, yeah, so if you want to know whether I like this LA Girl Pro coverage, then just keep on watching. I bought this one in Old Time, I believe it was around $10. And this one has 0.95 fluid ounces, and mine is in the color Fair. Um, from, like, when I went to Ulta yesterday, and they had about six shades, like, in stock right there. So, um, I obviously grabbed the Fair one because the next one was a little more on the pink side for my skin tone. Um, I tend to have more, like, yellow undertones. So, I'm going to read off the description that says online. Um, there are a total of 16 shades online, and they retail for $10.00. Um, in the actual like LA website, LA Girl website. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the description. It says, Pro Coverage High Definition Longwear Eliminating Liquid Foundation is deal to, for a flawless looking full coverage finish. Lightweight formula is comfortable for all day wear. Paraben free formula with added anti antioxidant help hydrate and improve the skin's appearance. Now available to extend the color range even further. An innovative white foundation mixer to adjust and customize color so yes so on the website there are in like exactly 15 shades and there's one white shade which I mean it's a really good idea because if you can't find an exact shade that matches you you can buy the white one and then you can adjust the foundation that you already have and then just mix it in with that foundation so you have your perfect match which I think I, I don't see a lot of um, brands doing that which I think it's a really smart idea because you know like most of the time you're not going to find an exact match to your foundation so I really like that they have that option so I'm going to go ahead and apply this um, I'm not going to apply with a brush because me personally I don't like using brushes to apply foundation I find them like they leave very like streaky marks and I just don't enjoy using brushes to apply foundation um, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal um, sponge and I love this sponge it's so amazing and I think it's like $7.99 at Walmart so I'm sorry if I you hear like noises outside um, obviously I'm on vacation and my like neighbors are on vacation as well so they are kids and they're playing outside so I'm sorry if you hear extra noises okay so this is the foundation right here the packaging actually reminds me a lot of the Makeup Forever one like the HD foundation not the stick one like the actual like regular stick foundation um, or the regular liquid foundation it reminds me a lot it's like the exact same packaging but yeah so this is in the color fair um, when you open it up it does have a pump which I really like that brands like um, drugstore brands come with a pump because not a lot of foundations from drugstore come with a pump that's like the amount that you get with one pump and I'm just gonna dot this on my face I just took a shower I have a clean face and like I said, that's one pump. I'm gonna start blending this in with my sponge. Right off the bat, I can see that like even one pump can go a pretty long way. Um, like I'm obviously like tr like moving it to my other side of my face because it's a lot of product. It is uh, liquidy. It's not a very thick foundation. It does say that it's a very lightweight foundation. It's pretty close. I mean, on camera you can say like it's exactly the same shade as my. Like the rest of my body which it's amazing so as you can see one pump covered like this half of my face so like my lower half of my face covered one pump and obviously you can still see like a little bit of my like acne scarring here a little bit of my redness on my cheeks and I mean you can obviously use more 
So it is a very lightweight foundation. I can't actually feel it on my skin. Like, I, it doesn't feel like... Obviously, I, I know that I have makeup and I can still feel it, but it's it feels very lightweight, as the description says. So I'm going to go ahead and take another pump, and I'm just going to dot this on my forehead. in between the eyebrows and then I'm gonna take the rest that I have on my finger and I'm just gonna dot it where I see that I still need a little bit more coverage I'm impressed with like how perfect this color matched my body like I'm so impressed the coverage, I can tell you that with using two pumps, it covered my whole entire face. And I can see it is a full coverage. I love my full coverage foundation. I am not the type of person that uses um, like CC creams or uh, BB creams because I just I just enjoy like that full face of makeup. So with this foundation, like I can tell that it's a very like high coverage foundation. Um, because it is lightweight. Um, you can still see a couple of my like acne scarring right here, but I can definitely cover that up with like concealer. But as far as like the rest of my face, I can tell you that it covered all of my redness. And yeah, I mean, it looks very natural. It is very illuminating. Like First impression, I am loving this foundation. It is so pretty. I love how it's very like reflective you can barely see it on camera but I mean it's not obviously like it says it's a very illuminating foundation um it's not gonna dry down to a matte obviously if you um I do set my foundation so the illuminating part because I have oily skin I have to set my foundation um but yeah it's so pretty like I said I'm impressed with like how perfect this matched my like body so my skin type I do have oily skin so that's why I do have to set everything after I'm done so um, that's like my type of skin this is an illuminating foundation I technically don't go for illuminating foundations just because they tend to be at the end of the day very oily on me because I do have a very oily face um, or skin types as far as having a smell like I can't smell it on my face but if I grab a little bit it has a like a chemically smell I mean I'm pretty sure all foundations have a smell to them but yeah this is very lightly because now that it's on my actual skin I can really like I can't um, I can't smell anything now the that the foundation is actually like setting settling in my um, skin um, it, it's not enhancing any of my pores I do have um, like pores that are pretty big on my cheek area but I can't I don't see them like being enhanced by them. Um, it is not settling into my fine lines that I have like around my um, my nose. Like it's not settling in my nose. Like the right here, it's not settling in. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup. Okay, so I just finished my makeup and I did film this tutorial, which it will be uh, going up next week. And yeah, so this is my makeup right now. And my little mirror right here. And um, everything went on, went on really, really smooth. I did set my whole face because that's what I do on a regular basis. That's what I, how I set my face. Um, I use the um, RCMA no pow no color powder um, powder loose powder, and um, that's what I use to set my whole face. And I've been really liking it. Um, it hasn't settled in any of my like fine lines. So like around my nose, it hasn't settled, which is nice because I usually have that problem. Um, it's only been um, like an hour. Yeah, I want to say like an hour after I finished my makeup. And it, like I said, everything went on really smooth. The color hasn't like oxidized or anything. Um, and everything went on really smooth. So I'm going to be checking in with you guys in a couple more hours. Right now it's 2.38. And yeah, I'll check you guys in, in a little bit and we'll see how the foundation is holding up. Hey guys, so this is my check-in before I take my makeup off. Currently it is 10 p.m. and I really want to take this makeup off. I just, I want to rip the lashes and everything, but I knew that I want, I had to do the check-in, so excuse my hair. Um, obviously I had dinner, I ate, I was just watching the Vampire Diaries, so I wanted to film this and then 
go and take up my makeup and then head to bed. So, um, let me see. My makeup, now it's like fading. I mean, my eye makeup. First things I can see right away is um, it did fade from my nose, but I did have allergies today, so I was like playing with my nose and like I was really itchy. Um, it did it crack a tiny bit around my nose, but that's just normal. I do see that with a lot of foundations that I've used, so that doesn't worry me because, like I said, I've seen that in a lot of foundations. Um, you can still see like my bronzer and my contour. Um, you can still barely see a little bit of my highlight, but I mean, it's 10 p.m. I've been wearing this foundation for about seven hours now, so I mean, that's a day for me. I usually do wear my makeup for about seven to eight hours um it depends on you know what i'm doing that day but usually like with a little bit of touch up with like makeup um a powder foundation i usually touch up with my mac studio fix um but like from us from afar like it's still it looks really good as you can see um i do like on my chin i did have dinner so obviously I, it rubbed off because of the napkin um but it did held like my makeup really really well as far as my contour, um, like I said, I've been wearing this for like seven hours. Um, but as far as like being oily, obviously my T-zone, that's completely normal. I do see that with a lot of foundations that I wear. That's why, because um, I have oily skin, so that is perfectly normal. Um, my nose, um, I did have a runny nose today due to my allergies. So obviously from my, my napkins and my tissue, like, you know, it's going to rub off of my nose. Um, as far as like cracking, like on the sides of my nose um it's starting to crack a little bit but i mean that's completely normal because i have been wearing this for eight hours so i mean i really really like this foundation i didn't do a ton today i mean i went out to like buy food and stuff but um it held up pretty good i really really like this foundation obviously i'm gonna i'm gonna keep trying it um it's gonna start being a little bit like harder outside so obviously with the weather I can see you know how um, long it actually wears if I'm like sweating and I'm like running around outside um, but as far as like for an everyday basis you know like wearing it to work and stuff it's pretty good I really really like it and everything's going to be linked down in the description box as well as my social media if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and little button down below everything's going to be linked down in the description box and until then i'll see you guys in the next video bye